Hello everyone, and welcome to Neuromath. Today's video is the last of four about odd and even number properties. What we are going to learn is how to use these properties to check the accuracy of solutions for division problems. Before we get into it, there are a few terms we need to be familiar with. The first three are dividend, divisor, and quotient. These are parts of a division number sentence. The dividend is the amount you want to divide up. The divisor is the number we divide by. And the quotient is the answer we get after we divide. The last term we need to be familiar with is evenly divisible. A number is evenly divisible by another if it leaves no remainder when we divide by it. So, for example, 20 is evenly divisible by 5 because 20 divided by 5 gives us an answer without a remainder, in this case, 4. 21, however, is not evenly divisible by 5 because 21 divided by 5 gives us an answer with a remainder, in this case, 4 remainder 1. I will be using these words throughout today's video. Now that we know that, let's get into our focus. The first thing we need to understand about the properties of odd and even numbers when it comes to division is that when I divide an even number by an odd number, I get an even number as an answer. So I could have problems such as 18 divided by 3 or 20 divided by 5. Because I'm dividing an even number by an odd number, my answer will be an even number. We can check this condition by solving each of these problems. 18, an even number, divided by 3, an odd, gives us an answer of 6, an even number. 20, an even number, divided by 5, an odd number, gives us 4, an even number, as an answer. However, and this is quite important, what we need to remember is that this will only be true if my dividend is evenly divisible by my divisor. If it isn't, I will instead get an answer with a remainder. For example, 12 divided by 7, an even divided by an odd, gives me an answer of 1 remainder 5, because 12 is not evenly divisible by 7. The second thing we need to understand is that an odd number divided by an odd number gives us an odd number as an answer. However, this will only be true if my dividend is evenly divisible by my divisor. So, I could have problems like 15 divided by 3 or 21 divided by 7 because the odd dividend is evenly divisible by the odd divisor, I will get an odd number as a result. And I can prove this by solving each of the problems. 15 divided by 3 being 5, an odd number and 21 divided by 7 being 3, an odd number. However, if the odd dividend isn't evenly divisible by the odd divisor, this condition will not be true. Instead, I will get an answer with a remainder. So, for example, if I have 35 divided by 9, an odd divided by an odd, because 35 is not evenly divisible by 9, instead of getting an odd number as an answer, I will get 1 with a remainder, in this case, 3 remainder 8. The next thing we need to understand is that an even number divided by an even number gives us an odd or even number as an answer. However, this is only true if the number we are dividing is evenly divisible by the divisor. So for problems like 18 divided by 6 or 16 divided by 4, the condition works because the even dividend is evenly divisible by the even divisor. However, for problems like 36 divided by 8, the condition doesn't work, because an even dividend is being divided by an even divisor that it isn't evenly divisible by. The last thing we need to look at is what happens when an odd number is divided by an even number. In this case, the quotient will never be a whole number. No matter what the problem is, I will always get an answer with a remainder. That's all for today, everyone. Hope you have a better understanding of the topic covered. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.